Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I'm continuing on with the reading of, of Matthew chapter 24 because it speaks of the end times and here we are in those things. And I have my own ideas about this, so uh, blessed, blessed if I offer anything of service and hopefully not, not too much trouble if, I, if you don't agree, <laughs> that's fine too. So there's quite a long passage here that describes, I think, uh, I wouldn't take it too literally. I would take it as a state of mind that happens to each of us as the changes in the continue and as the light pours in and as our souls are purified so that we may enter the kingdom. Okay, But this is a feeling and it's very graphically described here. So I'm reading... Uh, verses 15 through 22, it looks like, goes like this. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. All right, now at this point I'd like to say, it seems to me that Christ is saying that when people are so upset about the, the ascension process, that if they, if they go to the mountains, or maybe to the seashore, or to the desert, if they go away from the um, ha places where people are, that they will find uh, the help they need there. They will find the peace and quiet and the ability to, to, um, to get get through that. So he's saying, go to the holy place. Would that be a temple or a church, perhaps, if you're still in town? Or on a, if you can find a good mountain retreat? Or if you can just do your best to remove yourself and become neutral to the mental turmoil that's going on as, as the changes take place, the, the turmoil in other people? Okay, so now for this graphic description here. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. All right, so... So Christ is describing a time when, when people need to, to move to a safe place, perhaps in their own hearts and minds, and away from whatever they're used to, considered to be safety. All right. So they need to find a place of, let's see, the into the mountains, a place of sanctuary. Okay, they need to f discover this new place of sanctuary. And he's also saying that there are those whom he calls the elect who are, um, for whose sake all of this will be shortened. And perhaps those who feel Christ's consciousness in the world today are helping to mitigate all these days of sorrow and tribulation so that everyone can survive through them. Yeah, that's probably it. So that's all for now. I will check back with you further on Matthew in, in a new video. So look for that which creates a sense of safety for you, even a sense of appreciation and joy in the moment, even though other people may be very upset right now, huh? You know, as uh, Judy Satori uh, it says uh, to feel the love in, in no matter what, and as uh, Peggy Black says to um, to feel appreciation and gratitude in some small thing, 
every day. Not something relating to another person because of all the soul wounding, but just, just, you know, how your cat purrs, how the rain patters on the pavement, you know, how the sun is shining through the leaves of the trees, something simple. Huh? And maybe that is our, our place, what, what Christ calls the holy place. But he says, Whoso readeth, let him understand. Where is your holy place? 